How would you feel if Congress confessed that the programs that you've been paying into your entire life, Social Security and Medicare, are broken programs that they just want to end them and start over because they're admitting that they are not going to be able to pay people who are putting into it right now. And take a look. This just coming out yesterday. Senator Joe Manchin on Social Security and Medicare. Is there a better program? As he's saying, this is just adding more and more to the debt. And when are we going to confess this is broken? We're not going to be able to pay people that are paying into this. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Take a look at this. Senator Joe Manchin on Thursday emphasized that he's not going to be able to discuss cutting Social Security and Medicare, but suggested that Congress may want to take a look at whether there is a better program to use to make the program sustainable for future generations. As he's saying, why are we doing this to our current generation? Making them pay into a broken system that's not going to be able to pay them back. We can't even sustain at its current levels. And he's saying just end the whole thing. Take a look. Senator Joe Manchin floats a better program for future Social Security and Medicare beneficiaries. Now, I've got the video footage for you so you can see it for yourself. And this comes amid, I've been letting you know, Senator Bernie Sanders has just proposed a new bill. It's all over the news. He's pitching it to President Joe Biden right now. It's his Social Security Expansion Act of 2023, where he's proposing an additional $200 per month to all Social Security recipients across the board. Also, increasing taxation extending the solvency, recalculating the COLA, doing an entire reform on Social Security. But wait till you see what Senator Joe Manchin says, as he says, we cannot tax our way out of this. We cannot cut our way out of this. We just need to confess that these programs, they're broken, and we might want to look at just a better way to do this. Wow. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys. Now, I'm going to share with you the articles and the video footage so you can see it for yourself. And in addition to that, I let you know yesterday that if you collect SSI, not retirement, not disability, not survivors, but supplemental security income, SSI typically arrives on the first of the month, that this month, in the month of March, you're going to receive receive two payments. And this is due to the April payment coming a little bit early. I cover all the details directly from the Social Security Administration's distribution calendar. Now, stick around to the end for a little bit of an update on that. And I covered it in detail yesterday. But with that being said, you guys, let's get you caught up on the latest coming out on just terminating and starting over on Social Security and Medicare. But before we do, do me a quick favor. Smash the like button if you appreciate the updates. Just takes a second. Thank you so much. And if you want to stay up to date on everything, it's totally free. Why not? Just hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. And if you want a comprehensive list of every single stimulus check in the nation, I've assembled one for states, cities, and counties. I've got a list of over a hundred different ones. It's available if you're interested at www.reliefroadmap.com. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. So link in the description below to this article that just came out two hours ago from the time of this recording. And it says, is there a better program? Manchin said in an interview in Fox Business News that you're going to see here in just a second. Is there a better way that younger people can invest and have something for retirement? I don't know. Only thing I'm telling you is that I'm not going to discuss cutting Social Security and Medicare for those people that are receiving and have been depending on it and that have worked hard and earned it. Now with that, you have to look at everything. How do you sustain what you currently have? And he's saying that those that are currently collecting, we need to protect them. But why have the current generation pay into this when we know things are running dry? I share with you in a previous video just how bad it is. They're saying by the year 2032, full benefits are not going to be available for recipients. Now, Manchin noted that if Congress doesn't do anything to make the entitlement program solvent and they just sit back with our hands in our pockets and say we can't get involved, recipients will face automatic cuts. Social Security is set to start running a shortfall in 2032. There it is, which could result in more than a 20% reduction in benefits, according to the updated estimates from the Congressional Budget Office, which means that if you collect, say, $1,000 from Social Security right now, if they hit the solvency cap and they can't pay out full benefits, that $1,000 you're supposed to get, you'd only get $800. And when you say, hey, where's the rest of the money I'm supposed to get? They would simply say, sorry, it's happening to everybody. We just don't have enough money to pay out full benefits. Now, the Medicare trustees suggested last year that the program's trust fund will remain solvent through 2028. So Medicare, we have even less time. Now, amid Republican efforts to tie spending cuts to an increase in the debt ceiling, there have been some proposals that Social Security and Medicare cuts could be on the table 
table in the future. However, amid swift blowback, GOP lawmakers have largely scrapped any ideas to tie cuts to the debt ceiling negotiations. So that just unfolded yesterday. Now, let's take a look at what Senator Joe Manchin had to say on this. and Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You know, the president indicated yesterday, Senator, a quoting here, I want to be clear, I'm going to raise some taxes. He didn't outline what taxes he's going to raise. You limited those he wanted to increase a couple of years ago. Where are you on that and what do you think he's talking about? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll probably hear something today, hopefully, of what direction they want to go. But I can assure you, you can't basically just tax your way out of, of debt. You can't bar your way out of debt and you can't cut your way out of debt. You can do a combination of all of those to a certain extent and manage your debt. We're not managing debt. There's not a person watching or listening right now that doesn't manage their financial situation and be successful. There's not a family sitting down that doesn't sit down. We've had record spending 21 years in a row, more than what we've taken in. When you have running a deficit in 21 years in a row and nothing has happened and we accumulated a debt and we're looking at now, 2050 has been used in a benchmark. I don't know, 2050 is a benchmark on many things that people are, are striving to. By, if we go down the debt that we have right now and the way we've accumulated it, by 2050 we'll have 130, 130 trillion dollars of public debt. We'll be spending five trillion dollars a year just the interest on that that's that, that's not that's well, the same. Don't you think no a lot of that survive. are these entitlement programs and you, you said you know the social security like, are not on the table right now republicans have said this year not on the table should they be on the table in future years should we start looking at well you should, you need to look at it to make sure how do we uh, i know how about in west virginia i have 60 percent of our people on social security and medicare now, to them to be thinking, oh, we're not going to touch it. We're not going to touch it. We're going to make sure they get it. We've got to make sure that in 10 years from now, they still have the money they have coming in and the Medicare protection that they're getting right now for their health care. If we do nothing and just sit back with our, with our hands in our pocket and say, oh, we can't get involved, they're going to have automatic cuts. We can't let that happen. So what about We've got those? To say, where, where would you say, all right, we have to look at either extending the age, raising taxes, or those 50 and over shouldn't have to worry about this. Where are you on the age of people who might have to say, all right, I, I, we're going to push this well, back I just a little think, bit? I just think, is there a better program? Is there a better way as younger people can invest and have something for retirement? I don't know. But I, if you can't even sit down and talk with experts and talk with people that have the, know, you know, the, the, the wherewithals, to say you're not even going to discuss anything? Only thing I'm telling you I'm not going to discuss is cutting Social Security and Medicare for those people that are receiving and have been depending on it, that have worked hard and earned it. Now, with that, you have to look at everything. How do you sustain what you have? That's just normal. That's normal discussions people have at the dining room table or the right. kitchen table every day. Wow. So there you have it. Now, he said that he wants to make sure that those that are receiving the benefits still receive it. But is there a better way? Right now, I share with you in a previous video that we're running about like a 30 or 50 billion deficit every year on Social Security. And they're saying it's going to be around 2032 when there's not going to be enough money to pay everyone 100 percent of benefits. So what do we do with this? Let me know your thoughts. Now, if you want the details on that, check out my previous video on it as I go through all the latest data released from the Social Security Administration and the CBO as to where things currently stand. And yeah, it's not looking good for the Social Security funds. Now, in addition to that, as I mentioned, if you collect SSI, you're going to be receiving two payments. You should have already received your first payment. A second one is going to be coming at the end of the month. This is the April payment just a little bit early. I cover all all the details for you in this video right here. So if you missed it, check this one out next and I give you all the details. But with that being said, you guys, I will keep you up to date as to what unfolds with Social Security as we're hearing there needs to be reform or maybe even an entirely new system. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.